I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Twelve men walked that plank that day. You know how many of those men left? Uh, zero. They Twelve. all really liked it. It was a ride. <laughs> the Pirates of the Caribbean. Car Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, plank of the walking experience. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribou. <laughs> Uh, absolutely no one died. No one has ever died in the operation of this ride. Otherwise, we would be shut down. Plus, we, there, we administer flotation devices before going to ensure safety. That's nice. Also, we leave about 400 sharks in there. There's more sharks than water, really. <laughs> <laughs> so they can't get you. Like when you put too much cereal in a bowl, <laughs> and you're just like, Ugh, it's all mushy on the bottom. Ugh. Wait, what? When you put too much cereal to milk in a bowl, yeah, I've learned. Oh, and, and at the very bottom, it's just like it's kind of wet, and you're like, mm. of my adult life, that is the balance that I've learned. Like, when I was a kid, I'd be like, with milk. Now I'm like, that's all I need. You don't need that much milk. You don't want to be having to be milk soup. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of like it. Fuck you, dude. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you I don't like- Sorry, go on. When I was- when I was younger, I used to never understand the appeal to st is the cereal staying crunchy. Oh, but, what are you uh, talking about, now man? I, now I do. Because I, I liked about? it when it was all like- like, the big soggy mass and oh, you're like, so yeah! Oh, so gross, dude! Fucking like, frosted flakes and like, mini weeds and shit like that. Fuck that shit. Ugh. I don't like healthy cereal. What the fuck are you- I'm not even I'm talking about healthy cereal at all. What are you talking about? I just inject. I just. This is a de declaration of my disdain oh. for healthy cereal. <laughs> just unrelated. Yeah, like Cashy Goline Crunch. Cashy Goline Crunch is okay. Or like fucking. I don't know. Just like fucking like Cheerios. It's like ew. Cheerios is not bad. Honey Nut Cheerios is the bomb. Oh, they're good. Multigrain Cheerios, pretty fucking good. <laughs> uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Frosted Cheerios. Cheerios? Mm. Oh, Frosted Cheerios. Frosted Cheerios make my pee pee so hard. They like powdered, ain't they? Oh, oh. whenever I eat it, I got a boat, dude. Dude, what was it? Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah. we were at fucking... Oh, what was it? I think I was at, like, Umami Burger? Umami Burger? Yeah. Wait, with, with me? No. You went- you've been to Umami Burger? Yeah. I don't like that place. What, really? Yeah, no, no, no. I see, why? I just think the burger's gross. Wow. I love that place. I think it's one of the best burgers I've ever had. That Gordon Ramsay burger was really good, actually. It's the same kind of burger. Yeah, it is. Funny thing, right? That's why I thought of it. Huh. Anyways, go on. Um, I was there and literally had a boner the whole time I was eating the food, and then right when I you really actually had a boner? Yeah, and then when right when I finished it, my boner went away. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that ne that is never. I know that's like a joke. Yeah. Where people are like, ooh, it was so good to give me a boner. It that literally happened. <laughs> you know, I don't get random boners as much anymore. Well, maybe you should see a doctor about it. It's a thing I never enjoyed, dude. Nothing's worse. Being in class, having a boner, and then having to, like, go up. That's a, such a cliche that's true. The, the boner? Yeah. One time I tried to jerk it in class. <laughs> really? Oh, that's awesome. Really? I think I might have, too. This way. <laughs> I love your reaction to that. No, that's, that's, that's what, that's why you're my friend. No judgment, you think that's awesome. Yeah. No, uh, why, I- Why wouldn't that be the coolest thing? I was just bored, so, like, it was really, like, through my, like, it's super ballsy, no pun intended. I but. got to the end, I got to like towards the end, and I think- <laughs> Oh my god, did you finish? No, this was middle school. Oh my god, it would've been so amazing if you fucking finished the class. <laughs> and you were just like, and, and then like right then, fucking the teacher was like, and what do you think, John? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you ever had- I didn't finish, by the way. Okay. I, I realized it was weird and people were probably looking at me. <laughs> um, but dude, you know what's funny? Have you ever had a fucking fear-gasm? No. It's the worst sensation possible. It's when you orgasm right when, like, your dad walks in or something, and you're like, hey! Oh, yes! <laughs> you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I have had that. It's the worst You hear feeling. somebody walking down the, yeah. the fucking hallway, like, right yeah. when, you're, when you're finishing. My dad walked in on me jerking it once. Right when you're mom. ejaculating. My dad once, my mom once. Those were the only two slip-ups I ever had. I convinced my mom that I was... Looking at like a man, I don't know how that how my brain thought that was like the better thing. <laughs> Probably because it was like, oh, you would never like. It's such a child naive naivety. It's like I, I would never look at a man and have a, a, an excitement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. And then my dad. <laughs> I just 
just remember he tried to play it off like he was still right about walking out of me jerking it. He kept being like, what are, what are you doing? And I was like, do nothing! And he's like, well, you should be going to bed now. And I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, just bye. Like, he totally knew, but he was just trying to play it off. Oh. Good. <laughs> I, what other way can you respond, really, than what? you should be going to bed? <laughs> like, jacking off in the fucking bathroom or something, and somebody, like, walks in like, oh, you should be going to bed, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Why fucking. Why do parents think it's cool to just fucking walk into a room? It's like. I get it. Yeah, kid. ever heard of knocking? I mean, it's like. Jesus, give me a little fucking. I'm not gonna deny you access, just let me fucking make sure my wiener's not out. Yeah. Dick. My parents used to do that all the fucking time. That was like my. Le honestly, least favorite part about growing up is just not having. Not knowing that. My, I didn't have it like my door didn't have a lock. Maybe you should call your mom and dad right now and tell them Say how fuck fucking you. angry that you are. Just like, just fuck you. Like, why did you do that? You ruined my childhood. It's just like one thing that's like, you can have everything else, parents. Just knock for five fucking seconds. Don't just walk in. It's all I ask. I won't be able to put away my crack pipe fast enough. You know what's weird is I always have that, if there's a, do a closed door, what? like in a household, yeah. I will always open it slow. Really? Yeah, I never have the impulse to open it fast. Me either. I don't. I don't ever. Yeah. I, I, it's like my, for roommates and stuff. I never. I don't even. I try not to even knock. It gives them. It gives them a chance to like you know be like oh no 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 stop and I'm like okay. Well, I just I just knock first and go hey. Well, sometimes you can't hear them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you kind of like open the door and you're like hello. Yeah. Without looking in, yeah. That's what a fucking decent human being. Never is. even thought about that. What? Until now. That, that's just what I do. It's just an impulse. I like how this has become normal to us. This yeah, yeah. I was just thinking that I was, I was fighting the last giant robot boss. Yeah. I was like, we're not even. It's, it's just, it's too much stimuli, and it's, you just adapt. Is this just what hap This is just what happens when like slowly Hitler takes over Germany. Yeah. You didn't even fucking notice. Yeah, and you're like, oh wait, I, I, I hate Jews now. Yeah, you thought it was weird at first. What? And then, and then you just stop questioning it. Yeah. <laughs> it's seriously, actually, kind of true. Yeah, a little bit. Like, just like acclimation. Yeah, people acclimate slowly over time. To anything. Just, just pinch the boob. Like seriously, it's like an, it's like, it's like an abusive relationship or something. Just like this, this literally is an abusive relationship. <laughs> I, just, I don't like, think there's any sort of relationship going on. Here. It's a one-sided relationship. I pinch your booby and you just are okay with it. So, uh, uh, pinch good, booby. good. <laughs> I pinch booby, you let me do it. That is our relationship. Da -da -da. I wouldn't mind one like that, Aaron. Really? I'm gonna get slapped when I go home for saying that. From your ex-wife? By being at my ex-wife. Who still lives in my house. Very honestly, bad idea, I think. What, living with your ex-wife? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We still fuck and kiss and say we love each other. But you're not married. No, we're not married anymore. We don't have a relationship. We're not into each other that way anymore. We just like to fuck and kiss and, and tell each other we do anything for each other. Yeah, and, and make each other food and... And then, and then you can get buried next to each other. And <laughs> what extreme past that? That's it, really. What if just to piss off somebody you hated so much, you they're already dead. You're just like, I want to be fucking buried next to them so they have to live with me for all fucking time. <laughs> they die with you. Live in death. <laughs> live in death. Just to spite them. Just pee on their grave. Dude. Fucking, I'd be... I'm not even superstitious, but there's certain things I just would never do. You could, like... Just for the peace of mind that I did not pee on a grave. If you went to somebody's wake, like, you could seriously just fucking, like, spit on them and nobody would notice. Yeah, they would. If you were, like, the last person to go up to, like, see them, you could just be like... <laughs> and nobody would see it. And, th and then they just have spit on their face for all eternity. I think a dead body is one thing I just can't disrespect. It's too sacred. Is it? Maybe not. I'd like to think it is. That is, like, strictly a religious thing. What? Holding a dead body sacred. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, it's not like a it's not like a rational thing. It's like it's dead by, and then you keep going, or you eat it, <laughs> or you turn it into a boat or something. Turn it into a boat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta get somewhere, Just... and there's they float. Does anybody need a fucking boat? I can make one out of it. Well, it's an old it's an old Chinese proverb. Make a boat out of dead body. Uh. No, it's like, uh, if somebody, if you, 
some people would like go to an island and then keep the boat in case they wanted to leave. Yeah. But other people would take the boat to an island and then break it down for firewood. Probably a bad idea. Is it? Yeah, because then you're stuck on the island. But are you? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the point is that like, what do you mean? Are people you? value things differently. Is is the well? Point. If you do, well, do you want to leave the island? Uh, who knows? I think the idea is that no, but well, that, if you don't want to leave the island, sure, fucking break the boat. Yeah, Whatever. but the guy keeps the boat just in case, like, and it's like, but if you're worrying about just in case all your life, ah, uh, you know? I see, I see. Well, in this specific instance, I think it's a very well justified just in case. Sure. It's not like keeping a fucking game around that you yeah, might I, I, I probably told it wrong. <laughs> the ancient Chinese proverb, if you take a boat to an island, destroy it immediately. Yeah, there's no way, there's no purpose for it anymore. <laughs> there's no use. What even is a boat? Uh, How seriously? You, when you, you got there by plane, they just gave you a boat when you got there. Do you know what's a cool one? You know what's a cool one? What? If you replace a boat, little by little, yeah. with with different planks of wood, Shit. and you replace everything in the boat little by little, yeah. it's still the same boat. Oh, I gotcha. The same, the same is such a fucking human, like... I know, right? Assignment, though. I love it. It's literally when just you, like... When you look into Eastern philosophy, a lot of it's about impermanence, and how we hold things permanent that aren't even permanent, or things. <laughs> And it makes us unhappy! Next time on Game Grumps! Forget about us! We'll be dead soon! And it's been 11 points since the fucking got! Run! Help! <laughs>